Tim, take a look at the magnetic helping hands. So you got our alligator clips, and these actually have insulation on the ends of them, so you don't have to worry about damaging the wires. So I like seeing that. I also like seeing that they actually gave us five of these, so we only really need four, so they have an extra in here. So for those clips, we got two long arms. These are flexible, so they will stay in whatever position that you want them to be in. And they have a strong magnetic base on the bottom. So all we're going to do is throw the alligator clip on there, and then thread in the thumb screw. So that will hold it in place. But this is something I like to see. So we actually have some variety in this kit. Most of these kits usually just have four of the long arms, but more often than not, I end up using the short ones just because most of the work I'm gonna be doing is right next to the table anyway. So I really like having that variety. So these are pretty cool. I'm used to seeing these, but I've never seen them in multicolors like that. This, it actually makes the whole set look a lot cooler. So as you can see, they are magnetic, so they do stick to each other, and they also stick side to side. There are brass tops on there, so you don't have to worry about damaging the board. And I really love these because you can either stick the grounding hole right over those pins, or you can stick the whole board right into the side. It's usually how I use it, but these things are fantastic to have. So this is a magic arm. So these are pretty cool because you can kind of set everything up exactly how you want it. When you lock it down, the whole thing is going to be locked. So if you need to hold up something heavy that this isn't going to quite be able to hold, this will be able to do the job. And we also have a very large magnetic base on the bottom of that. And here is the clamp for that. You can see we got rubber pads on the top and the bottom, so you don't have to worry about damaging anything. And it has multiple threading options, so you don't even have to use it with this base if you don't want to. I, of course, do, so I'm just going to thread that right on. We got some rubber feet. And that is for our base plate. You can see it does have the logo there on the bottom, but we also have a hole on the side. So if we want to, we can just hang this whole thing up. If we don't want to see the logo, we can just flip it over to the other side. I personally like seeing the logo, so I'm going to put the feet on the bottom. Very cool. And it's pretty unusual that it actually comes with six of these. Most of the time these kits only come with four, so I like that they went that extra mile. So there we go, we got four new solder joints. All I have to do is clip these leads and we will be ready to go. So overall, that is a very cool kit.